what to observe. To correctly read the body language of dogs, you must first observe a variety of body features, including the ears, tail, mouth, the direction of the dog's gaze, how the dog holds and orients himself, and what kinds of vocalizations the dog is making. All of these features are important because there is no one feature you can rely on to predict the dog's behavior. Some features aren't always present. Not all dogs have tails, for example. Pay attention to the context and all the features of the dog's body language to help you interpret the dog's intentions. Because a dog's mood can change quickly, watch for quick changes in behavior that reflect these mood changes. Not all changes in communication signals are obvious. In this sequence, look at the way the dog's ears have shifted from forward to backward. Unless you were paying attention, you might not have noticed this change. Being a good observer means not only attending to the dog's body language, but also being aware of the context in which the behavior occurs. Some features have different meanings in different situations. For example, a growl isn't always a threat by a dog. Sometimes dogs growl when playing. To summarize, your observation should include paying attention to all parts of the dog's body, watching for sudden or subtle changes in the dog's behavior, being aware of the context of the behavior. Because there is so much to watch for, you should plan on spending more than a few seconds observing the dog in a particular situation. Sometimes a dog's mood may be hard to read, or it may change quickly, or the environmental context may be complex. If you are too hasty in your observations, you may misinterpret what is going on and risk injury to yourself and to others, or cause unnecessary distress to the dog. Finally, developing good observation skills takes time and practice. Reviewing this program on a regular basis can help you develop and sharpen these skills. Also, take advantage of every opportunity you have to watch dogs in all kinds of situations. The more you practice, the better you will become.